Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's second video, so day 10 takes us 21st of August. And of course, we'll be able to set up beyond that with the Essential Affairs ECM Ensembles. Maybe over to around the weeks. Have the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the first half of September. And I'll get to that for you in a moment to say that first video say was many hours ago now. 6M uh, UK weather forecast. So please check out those two vids. If you liked it, that, like, share and subscribe on all today's videos of content. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. I've been having a restful Monday today. Catching up on rest and sleep. So I'm very late. It's 10 to 14 days. So sorry uh, about that. Be so you light us. Just a quick update if for anybody who's interested, probably nobody. <laughs> but a new update anyway. But so you like us, uh, has cleared up in my uh, legs, so the infection is gone. I'm off penicillin now, finished my, uh, that course yesterday. Um, but I'm uh, still feeling rather unwell, really, rather tired, rather fatigued. I think that'll take a little while to go because it was a nasty infection. So it'll probably be a week or two for the fatigue and that. Um, wears off, but overall I'm doing a lot better, and again, thank you so much for all of your lovely kind messages of kindness, etc. Right, we're going to start off in the Atlantic, so this is how things are currently looking with the National Hurricane Centre. So we've got two, in, uh, three interest areas, well, two interest areas of Tropical Storm coming to Tropical Storm at the moment. We've got uh, Tropical uh, Storm 2, a temperature chance of cyclone formation in the next two days and disturbance area three with a 10 percent chance of cyclone, cyclone formation in the next seven days don't have to worry too much about them then but then we also have tropical storm erin currently giving maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour with a minimum set pressure of 1004 millibars clicking on erin we can see that this is actually predicted to become a major hurricane. So starting off uh, just there and developing hurricane status uh, by the time we get through to about Wednesday. And then uh, by the weekend, major hurricane uh, Erin will be bearing down on uh, the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico by the look of it. Possibly the Cayman Islands and uh, Cuba could be included as well. We'll have to wait and see. No major developments in the Atlantic right now. And, uh, of course, we will be uh, keeping you posted uh, about that. So if we go here, uh, we've been there, actually. So where is the report on Erin? There doesn't seem... To be one, uh, experimental code is currently processing and will be available soon. Okay, so actually we go up here, discussion, and we can see that maximum sustained winds are going to be reaching 115 miles per hour, if the forecast is correct, by the uh, weekend. That is a pretty high-end Category 3 hurricane status, I think. So, um... Very significant, significant developments. Of course, these are early days for the hurricane season uh, as well. We're only midway through August, or so we'll be by the weekend. Still got the peak of season, September, October, to go. So it looks like this will be yet another uh, very big, possibly uh, hyperactive hurricane season. Time will tell. Coming back to home, this is the latest one for that from Earth, Nullschool.net. So high pressure is uh, over country. There is a chop moving eastward through that high pressure, uh, bringing cloud and a few showers at the moment. But this high pressure is really setting up what is shaping up to be a very warm to a hot week to come. Central England temperature is currently sitting at 16.7. That's one degree above the 61 to 99 average. And it's provisional to uh, the 10th of August to yesterday. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. On Cardiff today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature actual cardiff we're starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment and we'll be keeping them above average for the next week or so uh substantially above average we do get a bit of a drop a bit of a freshening uh around sort of uh thursday um so starting off hot bit of a fresher feel about thursday and then taking off again 
uh, into what could be a very hot weekend next weekend. Actually, next weekend could be uh, the peak because we do see quite a few of those on summer members, but are going up to 20 degrees at 850 HP. After that, the upper air temperatures starting a gradual decline. So as we go into the last week of August, we're back close to average. Of course, that's not where we are. And it's steady rain. Precipitation wise, going to be more or less completely dry over the uh, next uh, week or so. We do pick up some precipitation late on. So that implies a cooler and a wetter bank holiday weekend. By the way, I was supposed to be doing the first bank holiday update today, but, uh, well, that went by the wayside as I was resting. <laughs> so sorry about that. I'll try and get that done um, tomorrow for you. But, uh, yeah, that looks quite unsettled and a lot cooler for bank holiday weekend. But, again, bear in mind that is a long way out. It's extended range. Therefore, it is not to be relied upon. Temperature anomalies, next five days, looking suspiciously like the heat wave, back gets the 16th of August, 10th, 14 day temperature anomalies, just a little bit above average precipitation, anomaly for the next seven days, up to the 18th of August, coming out largely drier than normal. Right, let's start going through the chart data then, and we'll uh, begin with the midnight UK Met Euro run at the weather outlook. By the way, so I'm recording this so late, we will have a quick zip through the 12 Z at the end of the video because quite a few of the runs from the 12Z uh, should be more or less out, I think, by the time I get this video wrapped up. But we're going to start off at 2 with the um, uh, UK Met Euro run, showing that on Thursday, pressure just weakens a little bit and we allow some fresh air in, but then the high pressure re-establishes again over the weekend and we bring up this very warm to hot, southerly, southeasterly throw that does, as I say, look like a proper heat wave setting up there with the air pumping up from the south. It could be turning uh, really quite hot indeed there over the weekend. Let's have a look at the upper air temperatures. And uh, we can see, but uh, yes, a plus 20 Celsius ice firm is getting involved there. As we go through uh, next weekend, certainly getting into southern parts of the country there. Plus 20 Celsius ice firm. Wow, wow, wow. <coughs> so sorry if we didn't get a video without a cough or a um without a cough or without a well without several coughs. Did you pause the video? I haven't got icon up. Hold on. Okay, so it turns out the icon at Midnight Run also didn't update at uh, Weta. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on at Weta this morning. But we have got the 12Z icon. I'll come back to that when we start looking at the 12Z um, model runs. Right, well, we're certainly into an experience, isn't it? Let's move on to the GFS Midnight Run. Again, we are very reliant on these third party websites, as they always say. You know, if the third party websites have the problem, if they don't update, then it leaves us, you know, with uh, with, with problems. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to get all the data in for you. So we'll move straight on to the GFS Midnight Run. So uh, again, we find that just a bit of a weakening pressure on Thursday. Then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, high pressure you know, comes back, rebuilds, reloads, and the heat reloads uh, with it as well. Plus 20 cells iceberg into uh, northern France there by Sunday. And we keep it mostly dry and hot in to the beginning of next week as well. This does look like an extended spell of hot weather that we've got coming up over the uh, next few days. Into the more extended range, well, again, high pressure dominating weather from off the Atlantic, bringing lots of dry, warm weather with it. There is a voluntary uh, low, but developing there beyond the back on the weekend. We're at the 27th of August now, long way out, so I wouldn't be too um, concerned about that. At the moment, it looks high and dry, really, for the next couple of weeks with the GFS. Big night, but the GFS 6 there. In comparison, again, high pressure, reloading, rebuilding through the weekend, bringing loads of hot weather with it, plus 20 cells iceberg by Sunday. It's into the southwest of the country. 35 degrees distinctly possible down in the south this weekend. That comes off. Hot still into the beginning of next week as well. Then pressure just weakening slightly around day 10. There's Erin, by the way. Uh, I think that's Erin. 
moving up into the North Atlantic by the 21st of uh, August. And actually, on Mr. FS run, Erin does bring a change. So, Erin uh, moves down towards uh, Spain and the Bay of Biscay and then starts heading north in Bank Holiday weekend. So, that brings a real change for Bank Holiday weekend. Obviously, much cooler and a lot wetter with that area of low as well. Oh, dear. Well, it's all a long way off, so I wouldn't be necessarily too worried about that. And then setting up like a showery westerly flow after the back holiday weekend up to the 27th of August. If you're enjoying the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're everyone for doing that. And why not drop a comment and let's say what you think about this sand or other videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys always get to subscribe too. Show you everyone for doing that. About 30 subscribers gets us to 20.5k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, GM, again, with pressure rebuilding over the west of Europe through the weekend, turning hot over the weekend and mainly dry with bags of sunshine as well. Gradually, by about days 8, 9, 10, we weaken pressure slightly to the south. It begins to turn a little bit more showery, possibly some thunderstorms threatening uh, the south coast there by day 10. Still very warm, though. And then the ECM rounding it all off. High pressure is in control and in the ascendancy for uh, the weekend. Going to be a hot weekend to come. 20 Celsius ice firm, plus 20 Celsius ice firm. Is pushing northwards by the look of it into southern England there. Maybe a bit thundery by about day 9, 10. The pressure just starts to uh, edge down slightly. And then there's uh, the remains of Hurricane Erin moving into the North Atlantic. As that significant area of low pressure. What does the ECM do with that? So it does uh, gradually start to uh, break down the ridge a little bit there. Uh, by the 26th of August. So, gradually, back on the weekend, begin to turn a little bit more unsettled, as you'll notice, or maybe not, but I'll point it out down here, that looks like another tropical storm and or hurricane uh, to the west of the Azores. Oh, dear. Right, this is my precipitation forecast based on that ECM run. From Tometio.com. No, a few showers around today. Not that many of them. Then lots of dry weather to come. Uh, really over the next few days. Sick miss when it's almost here and there. But a lot of dry weather. And again, increasingly hot into the weekend. Maybe hints of some thunder by about day 10. That is a very long way off. These are the options on the table from the ECM ensembles today. For day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us 28th of August. 27 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to the north and to the northwest. So uh, around that we'll be bringing in uh, a rather coolish uh, north to northeasterly flow. Should be a lot of dry weather though. And 24 with high pressure between Iceland and Scotland. And again should be quite a lot of dry weather with that too. Most options seem to be high and dry then at day 10. At two weeks time though, signs of a change. This gets us to the 26th of August. 27 members of the ECM ensembles there and have a trouble of low pressure setting up over UK and Ireland. Looking much cooler and a lot more unsettled. 24 bone high pressure still dominating. Winds in from the uh, east. It's virtually a 50 50 split. 27 versus 24. I mean, a very slight majority in favour of a cooler, wetter option. But 24 is a large minority option of uh, warm and dry. So, virtually a 50 50 split about where we are at the end of August, we shall see. And then uh, CFSB2 looks like this. These are 500 millibar high tons. So I've broken down into wheat beers. The first wheat beer takes us from the 11th, 17th of August. Next week, high pressure over and to the east country. Low pressure down to southwest. And winds coming in from a southerly southeast direction. Should be mostly dry. And hot week two. Also looks a bit heat wave ish. It's the 18th to be. Is that word heat wave ish? It's the 18th, 24th of August. High pressure over to the east. Again, winds coming up for some of the south east direction. Mainly dry and hot with that one. And then uh, week three will be the 25th and the 31st of August. Maybe just uh, weakening. The ridge a little bit, moving it towards Eastern Europe. And then check out week four. It's the 1st to the 7th of August. And, uh, yeah, low pressure then is in over the top of the country. High pressure's go, gone north, become a northern blocking feature. So a cooler and much wetter start to September. 
if that's correct. Hmm, I wonder. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the 12Z, or as much of it as we can. Anyway, given I'm very, very late with this video, so we, so we start off with, latest, with the latest 12Z UK there. Your run again, high and dry over the weekend, looking hot. That high pressure over the top of the country, going nowhere fast. Let's have a look at the upper air temperatures. And again, there we see it, plus 20 cells ice firm. Is flirting just with the south and southwest into Sunday, uh, although it does retreat a little bit into Monday, but nevertheless, still looking really hot there with the UK Met over weekend to start of next week. Icon at 12Z looks like uh, this, so once more, that high pressure is back in over the weekend, over country, looking mostly dry, hot, and sunny for the weekend with uh, Icon, the GF. S 12Z uh, looks like that. It's only out to 246 hours. We're running a bit late actually. Coming out. So not, not sure what's happening there. Uh, but high pressure again is back in over the weekend. The weekend looks mostly dry and hot there. With GFS 12Z. Uh, by about day 10, the ridge has broken down, turning cooler and more unsettled there. Have a look at the upper air temp, see how hot they get over the weekend with that GFS. S, uh, 12Z run. So, uh, again, we've got plus 20 cell size, but just getting into far southwest there, uh, for retreating back to France. So, that again could get to about 34 35 degrees, I think, um, on Sunday, possibly into Monday as well. And then the jam, lastly, uh, looks like this. <coughs> So, sorry, everyone. Again, high pressure dominates the weather over the weekend and into next week as well. Mostly dry and hot under that area of high pressure uh, with the jam all the way up to day 10. The upper air temperatures. So, mm, well, we just should I put it up that plus 20 cells ice firm? But I reckon somewhere on Sunday or Monday could get to about... Uh, 34, 35 degrees. And interestingly, the, uh, it, the jam is keeping it hot all the way up to day 10. That's the 21st of August. And you've seen plus 15 cells of ice firm is through the coach of prolonged spell of hot weather setting up there with the GEM. We'll see. I reckon it's going to turn into uh, what will be remembered as a classic hot summer. We had a 17 Celsius CET um, uh, June, had an 18 Celsius CET July. If we pull off another 17 or 18 Celsius CET month, which looks very likely at the moment based on this model output, then this will be regarded as a classic hot summer, possibly even a record breaker. But time will tell. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure you everyone for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all my videos. Content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys. Well, get to subscribe too. Make sure everyone for doing that. Tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 m UK weather forecast. We'll have the... Uh, we're going to schedule for the European Outlook. But I might push out to Wednesday. Do a bank holiday update tomorrow. But either way, um, uh, there will be a second video as well as 10 to 14 there tomorrow. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.